affected by this impact event because that's really what's going to give us the answer to what did DART do at the time of impact. And that will be exciting to see how that evolves over the days and weeks following that impact. All right. After a 10-month, 470-million-mile journey, DART is just minutes away from making history. A truly global effort, this mission has brought together people from around the world, united under one goal, to find a way to protect humanity from a hazardous asteroid if one were ever discovered. Now, usually NASA spacecraft are intended to operate for many years or even decades, but not DART. DART was built to be destroyed. DART is a mission of firsts, proving that a spacecraft can autonomously seek, find, and approach a target in space that's so far away, we don't even know what it looks like. It also marks the first time humanity will have moved a planetary body in the universe. I said that correctly. Now, at this point, the spacecraft is controlling itself, making small maneuvers to ensure it's lined up with its target. DART is speeding through space and will cover the last four miles of its journey in just one second. Coming up, we'll hear the final updates from mission operators and witness the big moment live from space. Samson, you have the best seat in the house. How are we looking? You're right, Tahira. Front row tickets to the biggest event in town, and things are looking good. We are T minus 10 minutes to impact, and DART is precision locked onto Dimorphos and zooming down the home stretch. Now, we have a lot to cover in the time we have left, and I'm thrilled to have with me Lori Glaze, director of NASA's Planetary Science Division, with me for the ride. Lori, such a pleasure to have you. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to be here and really happy that we are here in this final 10 minutes. We are almost there. While you were just in the thick of it with the team up until a few minutes ago, what is the atmosphere like in there? I can only imagine. It's, it's really, it, it's great. I mean, they're excited. Um, every time there's a marker that we, we meet a milestone, everyone is cheering and very excited. But there's also almost a sense of a calm confidence that with every milestone, everything's going you know, as planned. Uh, we've, we're found and we locked on the, the target as planned, pretty much at the right time. Uh, they're looking at the brightness and the reflectivity of the object, and, and it's more or less what they expected. Um, everything is performing as expected. And so there's a lot of cheering and happiness, but just kind of a sense, hey, you know, We've been planning for this a long time, and we've got it. We've got this. We've been planning for this. We can hear applause left and right throughout this evening, all good signs. What are they focused on at this critical juncture, Lori? It is basically years of planning, 10 months of making sure we get to this point after launch, and they've been juggling a lot. Is there anything in particular that they are glued on as we enter this moment of truth? Yeah, so the main thing they've been watching is you know, getting to that point where we could do the precision lock, where we had good enough signal coming back and enough confidence in where we are relative to Dimorphos that we could really do that precision lock onto the target. And we, it's hands off now, right? We're not, you know, the, the spacecraft is going to drive itself and really focused on that, uh, you know, that point where they could be uh, precision locked. And they're also thinking about looking at and reassessing continuously what's the probability of miss, right? Mm -hmm. As you get closer and closer, that probability should get smaller and smaller, and it is. It's getting, it looks really, really good right now. Well, it sounds like the game of thinking, of wondering, really doesn't end until that last second comes to pass. So they can do a lot of great up until this point. We just have to see this through to these last few minutes. Well, and in a few minutes, speaking of that, all the years of thinking, of doing, planning, reacting, is finally coming to an end. From five minutes to impact, there will be no more opportunity to send any commands to SmartNav in the Mission Operations Center. The team will be purely spectators, the data coming in, and they are just wetting it out like the rest of us for the first time. Lori, this is huge both from an operational perspective and also an emotional one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, you can imagine, um, you know, I've you know, been, I'm really excited about it, and I've been engaged with this mission for, you know, the last four and a half years that I've been in my current role. 
but this team has been working so hard on this for so many years and they've put so much of their energy and their time into this and so much planning and rehearsing and you know it's uh, it, it's a it's a really big event for them to like you say just counting down and watching at this point there's not much else they can do but watch and see the fruits of all their work yeah I have gotten to know many members of this team over the past few months and you know there's a lot of alpha individuals on there <laughs> right you need a good mix of alpha people to make sure we get to this point I can imagine I can only imagine what they're feeling perhaps like you said a little bit of relief a little bit of can I let this go I have worked for this moment so long and now we can no longer do anything that moment is just coming up yeah but I think they're ready I think they're they're at that point you know I was you're you're getting some shots of Elena Adams the uh, the systems engineer and you can see the excitement in her voice she's so ready to to show the success of this mission this is awesome five minutes out which we're coming up on now the team will be hands off two and a half minutes from impact smart now which has been guiding the spacecraft autonomously for four hours will also step away stop any maneuvers Dart will simply be coasting to its fate. This is blockbuster stuff, Lori. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we are there. Yeah. yeah. I have front row tickets, and we are very soon about to open up these airwaves in the Mission Operations Center. We'll stay plugged in all the way through impact. Remember, at this point, five minutes out, no more commands to SmartNav will be possible. The team is watching it just like you and me and the rest of us. Right, we've reached five minutes from impact. The final command opportunity to SmartNav has passed, and the team is simply watching that data stream in just like we are. Also remember, there is a 30 second, 38 second lag for the data to travel to Earth, and also an additional few more seconds for image processing. It's important to note that. should be hearing the chatter in the Mission Operations Center momentarily. This is DART MSC on DT Mog. Five minutes till impact. Five minutes till impact. We are at 1,100 miles away. <laughs> also, our window for sending any commands to the spacecraft is done. <laughs> Contingencies done. <laughs> this is a great vibe in that mission right. operations center right now, Lori. It really Ooh. is. Um, they are so excited. And the investigation you know, I, on I'm honing in looking at these images as we get closer and closer, and you look at Didymos and just you're starting to see the this physical body appear there. It's incredible. Just incredible. That great. I'm still having a hard time believing this is real energy coming in near real time. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah but you've been watching it over the Four last you know, 30, 45 impact. minutes go from just being a collection of individual pixels and now you can actually see the shape and the, the shading and texture of, of Didymos and we're gonna see that same thing with Dimorphos as we get closer and closer. This is so cool. Never We're before seen images of the Morphos will be come into stark relief. Absolutely. A few seconds before Look. impact. Didymos is amazing. Yeah. All right. The team is standing just recognizing this moment years in the making. It is really nice to see them relax a little bit, get off from those computers that they've been glued to and just appreciate this moment that's coming. Yeah, and they've earned this. Um, it's just great to see them there. This is so cool. Lori, we hit another major milestone. We are now two minutes and a half from impact, and SmartNav has stopped maneuvering the spacecraft. DART is now coasting toward Dimorphos, and we hope into the history books. Absolutely. This will be, I'm sure you've heard it many times tonight, uh, humanity's first ever 
ever attempt at trying to move another celestial body and also our first attempt ever to execute a, a mission in you know, sole purpose of planetary defense. So what an exciting, exciting time. Yeah, and I'm starting to see Dimorphos start to come into view there. You can see it starting to take shape. I'm starting to see individual boulders on Didymos. Um, unbelievable. Unbelievable clarity of images We're there. Coasting on in, our projected missed distance is going to be about 17 meters. All right. <laughs> All eyes on this event. Space telescopes, ground telescopes from every continent on Earth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Two minutes out. Does not look like one single rock to me. Oh boy, we're getting close. 14,000 miles per hour, Lori. 14,000 miles per hour, and remember, you know, uh, 45 minutes ago, 55 minutes ago, we couldn't even resolve this this object in space, and now we are, you can see us, zeroing in right on target. And we're now dropping the clock, and we'll go by loss of signal to confirm impact. Right. Yes. Imagine we'll get that loss of signal, and then we'll hear from Lena Adams again. Um, letting us know that we've like been we'll successful. Know. I feel like that'll be a crystal clear <laughs> signal. I think so. I think we're starting to see more, uh, more resolution. In fact, look at that. Didymos has even gone out of the view. We're now just seeing Dimorphos. This is remarkable stuff. Oh my goodness, look at that. Looks like control system settling down. Angular rates look really good. I think we're going to get the investigation team some good pictures. Wow. No, no, come on. We can do better than that. <laughs> yep. Starting to see those individual boulders there. You can see shadows uh, of the various rocks on the surface. Impact. It's amazing, guys. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Unbelievable. Yeah. Looks to me like we're headed straight in. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Eight, yeah. seven, oh, six, wow. five, four, three, two, one. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> oh, wow. Awaiting visual confirmation. All right. We got it? Waiting. Waiting. And we have and impact, we <laughs> a giant leap for humanity in the name of planetary defense. Woo. Fantastic. Oh, fantastic. Oh. Oh, what, what a moment. Very few words can really capture this moment. This is beautiful to watch. <laughs> Amazing. What a team. Is, what, what a team and a what an accomplishment. Team. A few weeks ago, they had their last dress rehearsal. They were getting emotional at the dress rehearsal. And they're like, this is, this is crazy. We're getting emotional. This is not the real thing. I can only imagine what they are feeling <laughs> right now. Yes. Well, you can see them there on screen. They're all pretty excited. Wow. Hearing impact, the curtains close on Draco feed. That raw joy from the team, years of hard work and the weight of expectation lifted off their shoulders. This is, this is amazing. Fantastic. Hey, congratulations. 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 This is beautiful. And Lori, really, yeah. this is a huge moment for the mission. Lots more work needs to happen in the days of these Absolutely. Months. Now, you know, as I always say, it's one of my favorite missions. Now is when the science starts. It just starts now. Now that we've uh, impacted, now we're going to see for real how effective we were. We're going to train all of those ground-based telescopes um, on the Didymos dimorphous system, and we're going to make measurements that will help us uh, determine just how, what its orbit looks like now relative to what it was before.
So it's going to be great. Very cool. All right, this is when science, engineering, and a great purpose, planetary defense, come together, and you know, it makes a magical moment like this. Yeah. Really. Absolutely, and you can see so many people there that have made this happen. Uh, the team of APL engineers um, that have really poured their souls into this mission. Lori, any last words to mark this historic moment? Oh, we're, we're embarking on a new era of humankind, um, an era in which we potentially have the capability to protect ourselves from something like a dangerous, hazardous asteroid impact. What an amazing thing. We've never had that capability before. Thank you so much, Lori. Those are poignant last words. Tahira, history has been made. Back to you. Wow. I mean, what an exciting day for the DART team. And in, in case you're keeping score, humanity won, asteroids zero. Now, I'm here with Nancy Chabot, DART coordination lead. Nancy, talk about a moment to catch on camera. What is going through your head right now? I mean, I'm just thinking, wow, that was amazing, wasn't yeah. it? I mean, those images, you just got closer and closer, and sort of we've been planning for this moment. We've been talking about it for years at APL here. We've been working on this since 2015, and I knew, <laughs> I've been talking, these are the images that we're going to see, and they're going to be spectacular, and I think even then they exceeded my expectations of just zooming in like that, and, uh, you know, it really is just such the team accomplishment, 